affecting my life as it's affecting everyone in the state who actually now uh, do a lot more uh, changing my lifestyle in terms of budgeting. Well, one thing I know is that Deer Valley has a smaller operating budget for next year, so teachers won't have as many supplies and uh, perhaps other things will be cut back, like maybe training classes for teachers. We're just not sure yet. Well, I have a feeling they're going to make my classes a lot bigger, which is a big problem because everybody has all these education things Well, they think this schedule works better, like block schedule would work better than traditional or all this other stuff that they come out. The smaller the classes, the better the better prepared students are. Budget cuts have personally affected me because many of my colleagues are being laid off or let go, pink slipped, because um, there isn't money to keep those teachers. They have put a freeze on ordering, so um, we're not able to order more books for this school year. Uh, also, um, doing textbooks, you know, there's a freeze on that and it has to go through a committee, so yeah, it has affected us in that way. And so that leaves a smaller percentage for programs, and, and those programs start to affect students, and that's what we're concerned about. That larger class sizes um, do hurt student learning because, like you said, obviously you have less one on one time with each student, but you also have a heavier grading load, and so you, can assign, you can't assign as many assignments as you would have. Um, in some ways it hasn't trickled down because Mrs. Green is really good about finding some way to get books but you know for uh, some of the students when we have the classes are doing the projects and we just don't have enough of those books we can't get them because you need, need bigger quantities for those. Okay. We've been hearing about it on TV but it hasn't affected us here as a district or as Deer Valley High School, I still think the the biggest issue that happens is for when students need to go to um, uh, on trips and they need to ride the bus. So there has to be gas for the bus, there has to be a person driving the bus, uh, so it does have an impact uh, in terms of, of being able to use district transportation. district or uh, I would say in the area we didn't even have the numbers of how many teachers were losing in the area because uh, officially uh, teachers receive pink slips uh, you know for newer teachers but uh, we wouldn't have the numbers specifically for just teachers and better on staff here or within the district did receive their Notice did receive pink slips or release notices uh, being released at the end of uh, June, on June 30th. Um, I don't know, we don't know exactly how many in the district, quite a few. There's quite a few temporary employees uh, in the district. Um, we have rough, roughly eight or nine uh, teachers that received notices. Probably. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you for your time. With bigger class sizes, I would have to say that, yeah, I do get less attention from a teacher because they have to distribute their attention to more people more widely. If you have 20 people in one class, then you get tw one. 20th of the, or 5% of the teacher's time, and if you have 10 people, then it's a lot easier for the teacher to get around and talk to everyone. You can do more projects, they can get more close to you. Well, I don't know. Like, I really don't pay much attention in class and everything, so it doesn't affect me much. Yes, I do, but I don't mind it because I sleep in class a lot and I just don't do work anyway and I wouldn't want a teacher noticing I'm not doing work. So I'm all for bigger class sizes. Um, not really. I mean I never really get attention from the teacher anyway. Um, yeah.
most of the time, if it's a bigger class, uh, not many people have their hands raised and more people can help you and not just the teacher. But if it's a smaller class size, uh, you might need more help from the teacher if more people don't know about a certain subject. Uh, I think so because then teachers won't have like, they won't have that much attention on that one person. So then like you feel that you're not getting helped on. So then like you do then you don't worse understand. in school and you don't understand. And yeah. Yes. So yes I do. I say, um, yeah, 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 because you, uh, you have more students and thus the teachers' focus will be scattered everywhere among the classroom, basically. Um, definitely so, because that there's so many more people in the class, um, you can't really take the time to focus in on uh, your specific questions and what you, you know, you're struggling with and stuff like that. I feel that, you know, we should have smaller class sizes. I mean, I'm in the research class, and we have eight people in there. And we're, we went to the science fair. We've ha done tons of stuff, and it's amazing. And if you look at, like, the uh, small, like, regular CP-level class, people don't get as much of an education because there are more people in it. I feel, because I feel really bad. <laughs> I do too. I think because it's I feel like I'm deprived of my education because I want to learn in class. Then you're gonna fail. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. And I want to succeed in life and go to college. Yeah.